All right, I hope you've already had your late night snack because tonight's five star story targets your sweet tooth. We're talking about the deep fried delicious goodness of Gibson's Donuts. Yes, a family recipe for more than 50 years and lucky for all of us and your dentist, it's available until midnight, seven days a week. Kim Clark gets the sweet assignment. There's a place in Memphis called Gibson's Donuts where the donuts are so good that they'll make you go nuts. Gibson's Donuts is nestled on a portion of Mount Moriah Road renamed Don Deweese Boulevard. And the heavenly smell greets you in the parking lot. Don Deweese bought the donut shop, which originally opened in 1967 from the Gibson family in 1996. And we have made it what it is, which is now the largest one owner a one location donut shop in the United States of America. Gibson's runs on donuts and traditions, no franchisees, and according to Don and his general manager's son, Britton, keep it in the family. I get to work for my dad, and one day my kids will get to work for me, and you know, other, it's gotten a lot busier, but as far as the recipe, the donuts, the way we do things, like nothing has really changed donut wise in the last 50 something years. Customers come from across the Mid-South for the tender, fluffy fried pastries, a wide variety of cake and yeast donuts, fritters, donut holes, cinnamon rolls, and eclairs. We let our donuts rise three times. Although the original equipment in the kitchen requires occasional welding and repairs, Don says it's a tradition that makes Gibson's unique and claims it can't be found anywhere else within a thousand mile radius. And one of the keys, Kim, is we have an old antique glazer that's 50 years old. You cannot buy that glazer anywhere. And we glaze our, a very light glaze, and we glaze it both sides so it keeps the moisture in the donut. Britain also gives credit to the bakers in the kitchen who go old school with each delectable morsel. You know, most donuts you eat now aren't touched by a human hand until it gets put in a box. You know, they, the, the machines make them and they go down conveyor belts under waterfalls of frosting and you just can't, you just can't make food, machines can't make food the way people can. So I guess the, the best tradition that we have that we've kept alive is that we do everything from hand by scratch with, you know, we put love into it. One tradition at Gibson's that has changed, the shop is no longer open to customers 24 hours a day. We had a little incident that happened in here and our cooks were a little scared to work in here from midnight. So we now close at midnight and we open back up at five o'clock in the morning because nothing good happens after midnight. But to keep up with demand, when the doors are closed to customers, the kitchen staff is usually hard at work. Because it, we sell that much. It's that commitment to customer service Don and his team take the most pride in. All right, first time, here you go, girl. It's fun when you come in. If we see a first time, we throw a donut in the air. I don't care if you live in Germantown, Fraser, Mississippi, wherever. We treat everybody that comes in that door the same. We don't care if they're Republican, Democrat. Uh, no politics talked in here. You know, we don't have customers, we have guests. We try to greet every person that comes through that door like they were coming through the front door of our house. You know, it's just, it's just a happy, fun place to be. And as traditions go, this one is likely to continue for generations to come. I'm gonna pick out your donut. You want vanilla or chocolate? This is a kid's store. Don't hurry them up. Let, let them learn to order for themselves. It makes me proud about what I do and why I do it. When no matter what your clock says, when you crave sweet treats, you can always come to the donut shop that never sleeps. In East Memphis, Kim Clark. It's warm too. Oh my God. Action News 5. So jealous of Kim Clark right now. All right, so as for the rap you heard at the beginning and the end of the story, that's actually from Britton DeWeese's children's book he wrote, it's called the donut shop that never sleeps. Gibson's Donuts has been featured on all sorts of food shows a lot of times. Celebrity chef, author, and TV personality Alton Brown goes to Gibson's whenever he's in town. And once he called it one of two of his favorite things to eat on the TV series, The Best Thing I Ever Ate. Great.